Okay, big day. I don't really know exactly what I have in here, but this is the start of a discovery process with a new type of entry level. Let me rephrase that. It's not entry level. Entry sized compressor, because these certainly aren't entry level. These are like best in class, uh, amazing machines. A lot of these are made for hospitals and and you know places where they need uh, very specific types of air delivery uh, but we're going to apply this to the garage for filling up tires and blowing out pads so in my usual form we're going to go uh, over and above and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to unbox these uh, and just kind of talk you a little bit about what i know about them i have a lot to learn uh, and so what i'm doing is i'm buying a couple of them at a time uh, so that way i can unbox it see it touch it feel it modify it uh, by putting fittings and hoses and, and parts with it and then we'll figure out some sort of system of how this will work. Uh, I don't have pricing on these yet. Um, I only have my cost uh, which is you know I'm, I'm buying wholesale uh, and so you know there's, I think these are somewhere in the thousand dollar range you know one to two thousand dollar range let's say so these are very expensive uh, but from what I can tell uh, with a little bit I've seen of them they're just amazing quality. So this is from uh, this is from uh, Werther International, uh, which is the U.S. importer for FIAC, uh, and FIAC, which is uh, an Italian uh, compressor company, and they make and put together these, these compressors. Uh, this, this, for you watching this, this is just like uh, my first go around with Krenzla. I didn't know much about it. I was pronouncing the name incorrectly. Uh, this, at least, I've gone to the Werther International headquarters in Houston, Texas, when I went to visit Shell. So we have, I have a little bit of information, um, but again, I'm not an expert in these. I just know enough to be dangerous, more than the probably the average garage guy. Uh, and I know that if I want this, that this is probably something that you might want too. So the first one we're unboxing is a C120. Uh, this is a 115 volt, uh, designed to operate on 60 hertz. Uh, and I believe these are both six gallon tanks. Uh, so we're gonna open it up and find out, because I don't know. Uh, so these are the first, the first round. I also have another box that I'm not 100% sure what's in it. And then a whole nother video series, I have a rotary screw over there as well. So in normal fashion, uh, I bought too many that I can't handle, uh, but we're gonna unbox a couple of them here today, mainly because I got the Corvette behind us and I need to get it off the, you know, I need to blow the blocks or the, the, lift, um, the lift latches so I can get the car down. Uh, and so these just showed up and uh, because I'm impatient and excited, I, uh, I'm gonna, we're gonna open these now before I'm really prepared to have a real intelligent conversation with you. So there'll be more to come on these, but at least let's see what they look like when we open them up. So what I'll likely be doing, you'll need to keep an eye out on Instagram, uh, what I'll likely be doing with a lot of these compressors that I'm buying, I'm gonna buy them, test them, play with them, modify them, set them up, and then I'll list them for sale at a, you know, at a, at a probably significant discount below what they will retail for uh, because um, I'm gonna, I don't wanna end up with a thousand air compressors sitting around here. Uh, but I do wanna test their entire line and figure out which, which compressors are most viable for me to offer because I don't, again, I don't wanna retail this stuff. I've made that mistake with Jenny. Uh, we're not eliminating Jenny. Jenny's still uh, gonna be our, our go-to, you know, it's brute, um, um, Piston compressor, uh, the, 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 this is likely gonna be our boutique uh, compressor company where we're looking for smaller uh, compressors that have a little bit more viability for those of us who don't have the space to do something much more significant. Okay, so the C120 here, this is a wobble, oilless wobble compressor. So they call this a quiet it's a piston, it's a, I believe this is a single piston because this is a, uh, uh, I think this was the one and a half horse. Again, I'll have more specs. I'll be doing more videos of the actual product video with the exact specs. This is me. I, I chose a couple of them to buy from the rather extensive catalog. And so the, again, this video is just me kind of discovering what they look like. And then we'll get into some more technical specifications as we, as we, we go on in the future. So this we wouldn't call silent. This is very similar to like a California Air Tools. 
um, just a, a much higher end version um, where we have a, there's a wobble piston and it's oil free. There's a ring around the piston and that ring um, needs to be replaced in you know, a couple thousand hours or something like that. But these, uh, these do still have maintenance. So even though it's oil free, there's still maintenance to all compressors. And these are some of the things that I'm gonna figure out as we go on. So it comes with a uh, regulator, little filter on. We have our on-off solenoid. Uh, this is designed to operate on a normal, you know, normal little 15 amp circuit. And so I opted to get the six gallon tanks first, and then we'll, we'll move up to test some of the bigger ones in the future. Okay, so you got an instructions. We've got a, looks like a tank drain part here so that we can drain the tank. Let's see, there's a release right here. I'm assuming there's a drain on the bottom or possibly this is the drain. This must be the drain right here. Okay. Failure to do so. Drain tank weekly from cock, from drain cock. So this must be our drain cock right here. So let's see what this looks like on the bottom here. Is there another? Okay, that's just a larger drain if you needed. So yeah, it looks like the, the tank drain, you would drain it out here. It's nice. Let's, um, let's turn it on and see what it sounds like. <clears throat> so this is what we would call a quiet compressor. The one below it is a silent compressor. It's a difference of about 19 decibels. So our outlet, okay. That's what this is our outlet connection. So this converts our filter outlet. We'd want to tape this, our filter outlet to, uh, to 3 8 looks like 3 8 male. And then you'd be able to take our little tube here and that would be just to do it like a little manual, manual draining of the tank out into a cup or something like that. Okay, this will be the real test. See if we can just plug it right into our little power strip here. Let's see, if we don't have something on the end, is this gonna just blow air out? Yeah, is there an actual shut off? So there's on off. There's our on off valve. Okay, yeah, so we can plug it in. So right here is where we'd put a Prevost outlet uh, fitting coupler. Yeah. So that's uh, that's what 59 decibels sounds like. Yeah. 59 dBA. So there's a tank gauge and an outlet gauge. So if I set it to auto, there's off and auto. And so if I start letting some air out. Kicks back on. It'll build our tank back up to about 90 PSI. Okay, this is why I can hopefully provide some significant value to the world because I can answer these questions that you'd have that you're clearly not going to be able to find online. Let's just call Roman and ask him real quick, see if I can get him. Whatever. We're putting it in. I'm really excited about this kind of compressor. I wasn't aware that this type even existed. I knew about Wobble and I knew about a traditional piston. I should bring my Ingersoll Rand over here that's like a traditional piston and show you how loud that thing is. It's probably like 90 dB. 
There we go, we're getting some oil in our little hourglass. Let's go halfway, right? Doesn't say anything about halfway. Usually like, yeah. Usually That's minimum oil minimum level. Oil. Yeah. I think this is a little muffler. I think that's what that is. Does that go there? Bet you it does. Told you, this is uh, I shouldn't make videos like this because people just give me a hard time. You don't even know what you're talking about. But I'd rather bring you along for the ride Oil filling. Yeah, so to remove this cap. Drop it on the floor. Put our muffler on. Okay, this is an air intake filter. Fill with oil until the level is in the middle of the oil level glass. We're gonna have to dump some oil out. God dang it! It says it needs a liter. It says do not overfill. All right, now we know. All righty, there we go. So don't do that. Now you know. Read the whole manual. I kind of went three pages in, and of course it was the fourth page that I needed. Now we're filled properly. I love making these mistakes for you so that you never have to. So I know if I was gonna buy one of these, it was 1500 bucks or whatever it cost. I would wanna watch all kinds of videos and information about it before while I was waiting for it. So that way when it shows up, I don't know what to do. Okay, lesson learned. <laughs> oh yeah, that's amazing. So listen to this puppy. Well, the air conditioner's on. So the air conditioner's louder than that. It's reading 46, but the AC is on. There's too much ambient noise in here, but it's rating 46 decibels. I told you this was cool. Sounds like a like, like a you fridge. Hear like someone's water pump running like really far away. You just hear yeah. that kind of noise. That's what it sounds like. Just that little hum. So I'm standing. Just to give you an idea. Now the microphone is super sensitive, so I'm standing with five feet away. Amazing. I'm in love. Absolutely in love. This one also puts off quite a bit more heat than the silent. Yeah, that's really cool, man. Really, really cool. So I'm going to put this in. Let me set these both up with a Prevost coupler so I can put a hose on the end of it. So let me go get some tape and we'll put a coupler on. Yeah, they're both at about 110 PSI set. 110. This one stopped at 90, but I think it would run a little longer. Yeah, there we go, about 110. I don't know where I got 3 eighths from. This is quarter inch. I wanna make sure we don't get this in the way, clogging up our fitting. I don't want to do it. I should have taped it first, you idiot. Make sure you put your tape on clockwise, otherwise it will just unravel. Put the tape on first, and then we put a nice little Prevost quarter inch coupler on the outlet here. That was a 14, I think this is a 22. 
bigger, 24 maybe. Yeah. I don't know if I like the configuration where this is sticking out the side like this. Since this swivels, you can kind of set it up however you want. See, this one is going to be sticking out the front. Yeah, we could probably we could loosen that and turn it. It could turn sideways. That might make sense. Yeah, I'm not trying to change the world here yet. I'm just trying to figure them out. Okay, we're set up. Now, now we can set up our lift, make it work without having to run the hose across the front of the building like we've been doing. But before we do that, let's see what's in this box. A little teaser for you. Okay, so this is another really nifty thing that I think I'm gonna sell a lot of, a lot more than these, because these are gonna be rather expensive, I think. But this is something called wall air. And this is like the very first one. There's a few of these out in, uh, in the world, but none have been sold. So this, theoretically, is a hose reel and an air compressor in one. And this is a whole kit of extra stuff they have as well, which I don't know that we'll carry, but I bought it anyway just to see, see what I'm missing. And then this little guy, a wall air. Oh. So this is not how it comes. This is like one of one. So this has already been used and touched. So this would be number, number one. I'll be the first person to have this. But you're getting to see it here first. This is my first touching of this thing. I think it's gonna be like 400 bucks or something like that. The idea is you mount this little guy on the wall and it's your hose reel and air compressor in one. Check that out, that's cool. Fill in bike tires, fill in your car tires. So it comes with a wall bracket. And a little install kit. Yeah, look at that little guy. We'll just fire it up here. I'm not gonna go into this too much in this video or at all other than just showing you what we're working with here. Yeah, we could easily put a Prevost on there too. Oh yeah, since this doesn't have a tank, I don't think it ever... Yeah, so you turn it on when you need it. That's cool. So this is not something you would buy to blow out pads or do anything long term because it, you know, it doesn't have a big tank. I don't think it has a tank at all. Yeah, so there's no tank on this. And so you just run it until you're done. And that's how it operates. But the idea is you'd mount it on a wall. It has a little swivel mount where it turns on the swivel. That's pretty nifty. It's tight and compact. So this is for you guys who have like a little apartment type garage or a little temporary garage or you just have a, like a little and a little area where you're working on bikes that you don't have room or don't want to spare a, you know a bunch of space uh, and you have this little guy just to plug into the wall to uh, make it work. Fill up some tires. That's pretty sweet. Anyway, let's set up our, uh, our big ones and we'll play with this other stuff later. All right, so I'm gonna set both of these up. I just set up the unloader to 90 PSI. I got it set up on the lift. 
Low in the locks, no problem. I mean, I wasn't concerned about that. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna work on the rear bumper of the car polishing. Uh, and so I wanted to test these out and see how it works. So I guess that'll be another video. But you'll have to go check that out. Um, I'm getting all I'm getting all over the place here, um, but I uh, just want to see which one is a better user experience. I'm guessing it's going to be that the little silent one. But let me set it up in the same spot. Yeah, I don't like the uh, position of where this is coming out, so I want to modify that. And this blue hose, don't get too excited. This blue hose is terrible. You don't want this. Trust me. You do not want this. I'm blowing out pads. It really doesn't matter, but. Yeah, there we go. And for my lift to work, obviously this is only temporary for me because I've got a giant rotary screw behind us here. But this little nifty little setup. And so I'm gonna swap back and forth between the two while I'm polishing the uh, polishing the rear bumper. Yeah, so we'll be using these, these tools. Actually, while we're on this, let's just do this. Just so you can see how long does it run before it, or how long, how does it work? Jeez, this is way louder. I can't, I can't even tell it came on. I just knew that it was shaking. Still at 80 psi. I'm in the tank. Fifty psi. You wouldn't want to run it for more than 15 minutes straight, otherwise it'll start to get hot. You just want to let it kick off, so blowing out pads, you're doing it like this. And you're done. And actually for pads, I might want a little bit more pressure. So we'll let that build. Pull this. That's down to about 50. So they're they're operating about the same. This one's still on, you can't even tell. This one generates a whole lot more heat. So operationally in use, at least just blowing, you know, blowing out is about the same. So I like this guy. Awesome, so cool. So we'll have these in the store soon. Um, I just wanna to continue to play with these and I'll have some more detailed videos when I actually formally decide which ones to sell and which product and how to launch it. So anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more crazy. I'm gonna have more character.